Write a C program to display even and odd elements of an array along with their count that is the number of times these even and odd elements have appeared in the array. Assume that we have a of 10 with couple of negative numbers and couple of positive numbers and a 0. So what would you consider this 0 as? Even number or odd number? Previously we considered it as a separate element but for now let's consider it as even number because we have a reason. We all know that even numbers and odd numbers appear alternatively. So for this 0, the next number is 1 which is odd. Previous number is also odd number. So let's consider this as even number. Also 0 modular division gives 0 which is a criteria for being an even number. So with these two simple reasons, let's consider 0 as even number for this program. So an even number is an integer that is exactly divisible by 2 and an odd number is an integer number that is not exactly divisible by 2. That's it. These are the formulas we will be using in our C program. Okay. So also visit our previous video tutorial link to which is present on your computer screen right now. We only displayed the, the count of even and odd numbers and zeros. In this program we shall even display the even and odd numbers along with their count. So we'll, let's un initialize even and odd variables with 0 to avoid garbage values. So let's manage array size using macros. Now I'll ask the user to enter percentage d integer numbers value of which is present inside macro n. So now the regular for loop i is initialized to 0. This loop iterates until i is less than n. For each iteration i value increments by 1. So for each iteration user is asked to enter a integer number. Now uh, let's calculate even numbers first. So I'll display a message that is even numbers in the array are numbers in array are let me display the even numbers also count the number of even numbers present inside this array. For that we need to loop through every element present inside this array. So I'll take the same for loop so inside this I'll have a condition that is the selected element if it's perfectly divisible by 2. In that case it's even number. We know that right? So I'll display that number first. So it iterates from 0 to n minus 1 the last element of the array. For each selected element we will check if it's perfectly divisible by 2. If it's true we will display it. So the value is present inside a of i and then we increment the value of the variable even to keep track of the number of even elements present inside this array. So let's do the same for odd numbers. So let me edit this printf or oh, it also selected slash n. So odd numbers in the array. This is same but it's not perfectly divisible by 2. That's it. Now increment the value of odd by 1 for each occurrence of odd element inside this array. Now let me display the total number of even numbers percentage d slash n the value of which is present inside variable even. So let me copy the same line of code. Let me remove a new line character here. So total odd numbers the value is present inside odd. Let me have a new line character at the end to make it look cleaner. So that's it I guess let me compile this and check if it has any errors. Okay it doesn't have any error so let's go ahead and run this program. I'll simply give numbers from 1 to 10 because we already know uh, numbers from 1 to 10 have 5 even numbers and 5 odd numbers. So even numbers in the array are displayed here, odd numbers are displayed here. So the total even numbers are 5 and odd numbers are 5 we know that. So now let's give some random numbers now. I'll give 11, maybe 2, 5, 78, 56, 8, 97, 2, 6, 45, 78. Okay, so we have 6 even numbers and 4 odd numbers. 48, 56 is even, 2 is even, 6 is even, 78 is even and other things are odd numbers. So we have total 6 that is 6 even numbers and 4 odd numbers. So 6 plus 4 is 10 which is equal to the size of our array. 
So what if we have zero here? So I'll start from zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, till nine. So zero is treated as even number here because it's perfectly divisible by two. That is zero modulo division two gives two. That's why it's considered as even number, okay? So what if you don't want zero to be considered as even? So before that, know that zero is surrounded by odd numbers and zero modulo division two is equal to zero. That's why we are considering it as even number two. If you don't want to consider it as even number and want to separate it from both even and odd elements, in that case, just take an if, if condition here, if a of i is equal to zero, inside this block, write some code that is display or count the number of zeros here, okay? After that, in else if, do this. Okay, that's it. Okay, display, just count it and at the end display it. So have this same thing here, but don't do anything inside the if block because we you have already calculated the number of occurrences of zero here, okay? In any one for loop calculated, need not calculate it in both the for loops, okay? That's it. So this is how we display even and odd elements of an array along with their count. So please visit the link present in the description section of this YouTube video for source code notes and discussion about this topic. Stay subscribed to our YouTube channel and blog. Please share this video with your friends on WhatsApp, Telegram, LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, etc. And please do not forget to like this video on YouTube. Thank you.